Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dunn of Iran Journal. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel and other videos just like the one you are watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Today, I'll talk about Garmin Vivoactive HR or Fitbit Blaze smartwatch and why I bought Garmin Vivoactive HR instead of Fitbit uh, Blaze smartwatch. I've been contemplating buying an activity tracker or a smartwatch for a while. However, I put it off because I did not want to pay full price and I kept my eye on whatever comes on sale. However, this 2016 Black Friday sale presented me with an opportunity to buy a smartwatch at 40% discount. The two major options I had were the Garmin or Fitbit smartwatch and today I'll talk about why I picked Garmin Vivoactive HR GPS over its competitor the Fitbit Blaze. Okay so here are some important reasons which made me choose uh, Garmin Vivoactive HR over Fitbit Blaze. The first thing, Bluetooth concern. Smartwatches or activity trackers send or sync information to a computer or smartphone via Bluetooth. Just like uh, the smartphone you're looking at right now. So you have to just turn on the Bluetooth and then when you turn on the Bluetooth on your phone, they can connect to each other and the same way the watch can connect to a computer uh, as well. Now, Bluetooth does the job via low-level radio frequency waves. These waves are non-ionizing. Waves similar to uh, those used by cell phones, which have been described by the International Agency for Research on Cancer, uh, who, uh, to, I'm sorry, which have been classified by the International Agency for Research on Cancer. Although Bluetooth EMF radiation is much lower than in cell phones, there is not enough information or research on the long-term health effects of activity tracker. Lack of information does not translate to evidence or evidence of safety or I wouldn't, uh, comfortable, wouldn't be comfortable wearing uh, something with a Bluetooth always on. Here's where Garmin comes in handy and it gives the option to turn off Bluetooth as I wish, which Fitbit is lacking. With Fitbit, Bluetooth has to be always on and there's no option to turn it off. So for example, uh, if I take my Garmin right here and then if I go to settings and then here is the Bluetooth option. So if I click on it and you'll see that there is status off and if I just press it now the Bluetooth is on and it's uh, searching for Bluetooth. So this is the option I like that you know I can turn it off and on very easily. So now it's off and I'll go back to main screen. So this is an option which I wouldn't get from Fitbit. And the other option is uh, waterproof. Garmin is waterproof up to 50 meters. I can swim or shower wearing my Vivoactive HR uh, and it's no problem. On the other hand, Fitbit is only water resistant, not waterproof. You cannot swim or shower with Fitbit, but it's okay to splash slight water on it, like in the rain or washing hands and so on. Now there are other aspects where Garmin does a better job than Fit, Fitbit, such as having a GPS. So this device actually has a GPS of its own. However, Fitbit can connect to your phone's uh, GPS, but it doesn't have its own GPS. And then there is another option is that uh, in, ter in terms of notifications, Garmin provides better notification. So when notification appears, you can actually click, click on it and you can view it, view it. 
However, on Fitbit, the notifications are just showing on the screen, but you cannot click and you cannot go inside the notification. So that's another option, uh, which uh, Garmin does better than Fitbit. And there might be other option, uh, but uh, the option I just mentioned are the most uh, deciding factors for me to uh, choose Garmin over uh, Fitbit. So the Bluetooth concern, uh, waterproof capability, and having its own GPS and better uh, notifications uh, capability. So for these reasons, uh, these reasons are important for me, and that's why I chose uh, Garmin Vivo Active HR over Fitbit Blaze. Uh, that's all for now. Uh, thank you for watching and please keep an eye on my channel and if you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you.